Hi, welcome back. My name is Emmy, and I am a professional hairstylist, a coffee lover, and a beauty enthusiast. And today we're going to get ready together and play with some Jason Wu Beauty. Jason Wu Beauty is available at Target and of course on their website. This is a brand that really appealed to me with multi-purpose sticks, a kind of very neutrally shade range, and interesting textures. So let's get into it. Uh, the thing, oh yeah, the product I was most interested in from the brand were these. These are their like, I think hot fluff lipstick, cream stick things and these are the four shades I got. So we have Jelly Roll, Eclair, Gingerbread, and Apple Pie. These three look insanely similar. Like it is very tricky for me to kind of tell the difference between these three shades. So let us swatch them. So here we have Apple Pie, Gingerbread, and Eclair. They look so, so similar. I mean, if it we're really picking apart, gingerbread is a little bit warmer. Um, but these two, I mean, this is maybe a little warmer than that. This is a little cool. They're so similar. So similar. So tricky to pick one. And this is the gripe I have with this brand is I feel like their shades are so, so, so similar. There's not, there's not enough play, I think, with shades. Uh, the last shade I have is Jelly Roll, and this is my favorite for sure because it's so different. I'm, I love this one. So here are the four shades I have. Um, I was hoping to use these on my eyes. Um, but none of them look super, super great on my eyes. I do have a different product we're going to put on my eyes. So we're going to do a very intense, like multi-dimensional blush with these. So let's do that first. Already on my face, I have some foundation and some contour bronzer. The foundation I'm wearing is the Estee Lauder Double Sheer, and I am in love with it. The contour I'm wearing is the Beauty Pie Contour Wand thing uh, in the shade 2. So I have that right here under my lip because I like a little bit of a pouty lip and that's it. So blush. I think we're going to start off with gingerbread and do this kind of low. And then we get to see the formula in action. So it's blending nicely. It's not too dewy. Yeah, I mean, the formula is nice. I'm not mad at the formula. It does take, you know, a bit of effort. That's what I'm really having to blend in. There is gingerbread applied lower on the cheek and I like it. It's pretty. So now let's take Eclair, just a little bit brighter, right here. That's pretty on the skin, though. <laughs> like. I can't tell a huge, huge difference between these two shades. Eclair and gingerbread so far. Cute. I'm gonna eat my words and we're gonna put apple pie on my eyes. So we're gonna finish the cheeks with jelly roll which like I said, is my favorite.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three shades of the Jason Wu Beauty hot fluff multi-stick thing. So yeah, I mean, I like these products. I have a very dewy base on, so they have a nice shine, but they are essentially a matte product. Uh, and I like them. My only issue is that the shades are just so, so similar. So I don't see myself keeping these shades out on my vanity because I'm like, they just look so similar. So like, even now I can't be like, oh yeah, this one's apple pie. You know, like I have to look at the shade names to figure out which one is which. So we're taking apple pie on the eyes. When I have tried these on the eyes, I just take the bullet and a fluffy brush and kind of get the product on the brush. Yeah. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible. I will say my favorite shade, Jelly Roll, which is my favorite shade on the cheeks, I did use it on the eyes and I looked like I got punched in the face. So <laughs> that one isn't as much of a multi-stick for me. It's really just a blush. So I guess, you know, if you go with one of these more neutral shades and it's a nice eye color for you as well, you'll get more multi-use out of it. There's apple pie on the eyes. Yes. I So I've been playing with these for a few weeks and I did have one shade just sitting on my vanity out of like the box that I keep things in that are for videos. And I want to say it was apple pie. It was either apple pie or eclair. Um, and I have been using it a lot. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. But like I said, I don't need all three of those kind of neutral pinky shades. I just need one. Uh, so yeah. We are gonna finish the eyes with this beauty. This is the Jason Wu Celestial Lust Eye, Eye Glitter. This is the shade Lace and Grace. This is beautiful. Oh boy, it's a glitter. It is a tricky glitter, I will say. It does kind of gloop up a bit. It's very like dimensional. It's, you know, kind of like a champagne gold type shade. But it does have like some kind of larger glitters in there. So I do not just apply this on my eyes because it doesn't build the best, but it's so pretty. So I'm gonna take some on a little brush like that and pat it in and you really have to let these dry down so one eye at a time it will crease so bad so you just have to let it dry but gosh it's pretty like whoa There is the Celestial Lust <laughs> eye glitter on the eyes. I really like this. I definitely am gonna continue using it. For the price, I don't mind fidgeting with it a bit. Um, and I think it's just really, really pretty. So, and the shade is, I think, rather unique. You know, it's a glitter, but it has this like extra dimension to it. Um, I'm a fan. I, I like this product quite a bit. Do I need other shades in it? No, I think I just need this one and I really, really like it. But as far as like a liquid glitter shadow, this compared to like the Violette FR, um, it's nowhere near as long wearing as the Violette. Um, it's also just a little trickier to work with. 
Um, also comparing it to the MAC like Liquid Dazzle shadows, this is easier to work with than those. The glitters don't disperse super evenly with the MAC Dazzle shadows, which I don't think I've ever used on the channel, um, but I, I have them. Um, so yeah, I really like this. It's an interesting middle ground. It's affordable if a liquid glitter is something you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll like, you know, really, really enjoy it, but I don't want to invest in the Violette ones. This could be fun. Mascara is on, so let's move on to brows. I've got a couple of Jason Wu brow, brow products to show you. First up, we have their Jason Wu Clear Brow Gel. Um, I hate this. <laughs> Like, I don't just dislike this, I hate this. Um, so I do currently have a bit of brow lamination left in my brows. This is what they look like if I don't do anything, but if I brush them up, they kind of stay in place. So the, necess the need for a clear brow gel right now is not the greatest. Something I really, really hate is it's a clear packaging and it's so gross and gloopy in there. Like, look, I can't, I'm not even gonna show you that anymore. Also, because it gets kind of gloopy in there, it gets gloopy on the wand, and then that's in your brows. So we're gonna put this on my brows. And it has like a longer side and then a shorter side. So I think you're supposed to, you know, like lay it down with a shorter side, but there's like stuff in my brows. I mean, we'll, I mean, we'll use it, we'll use it. But I mean, I've really just been keeping it around for this video and it's going in going in the empties bag so you guys will hear me complain about this one more time in a video. The shorter side, I mean like in theory you're like okay yeah that, that makes sense you know the long side the short side but the formula itself is just not the greatest I just no thank you um I do I have one from Revolution Beauty right now that I really do quite like as a clear brow so, no thanks. Next up, we have the Woo Brow Everlasting Love. I have the shade W Bell. Is that a bit wobble? I don't know. Oh, okay. The W Bell is the, okay, it's an acronym. I have the shade too. Goodness. This I didn't think I was gonna like, but I kind of do. Um, it's just like a brush with pigment on it. So I take most of the pigment off because I don't need a ton and I don't want to overdo it. And I'm also gonna have a, a spoolie on hand. This is a spoolie that's connected to a product. I'm not using this product. So, and I'm liking this because I feel like my brow lamination lightens my brows a little bit. And this is very nice. So we're painting it in very light handed. This is not going to be everybody's cup of tea and that is totally fine. But I have really, really been liking it. It's not as, you know, straightforward and easy as a tinted brow gel, but I mean, it stays and the color, the shade is quite nice with without i i kind of like this i'm really surprised that i do brows i like it hate the clear brow gel really like this tinted brow product next we have the jason Wu the freckled boy faux freckle this, I've never tried the, what's the name of the brand? It's like the original Freck. I've never tried Freck. Um, this is what I imagine it would be. It's interesting. So there's our little bottle. It's almost like a clear kind of jelly product and you dot it on. So this is me swiveling it around in here and taking some of the excess product off. And then we dot fro faux freckles on. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. And then you take your dry finger and you dot it around and they soften. 
How cool is that? Um, I'm gonna make a bold statement. I think I like this better than the Pseudo Labs. Uh, this is, or I should say, I like them for different reasons. The Pseudo Labs, Pseudo Freckles. I like those, I think, for more of a no makeup day freckle, you know, where I just want to look very like sun kissed freckle. Like I want to go ham with the freckles, you know, sometimes I just want, you know, some freckles on top of my makeup. Whoa. And this is perfect for that. So totally in love with the Jason Wu Faux Freckle product. I, I love it so much. It's a small, it's also, it's also smaller packaging from the Pseudo Labs and just less messy. So this is totally worth it. I am in love with it. Yes. The last product we have to try is the Jason Wu Soft Balm. Lip balm in a tube, it says. I, this is this is fine. Yeah, so we're gonna put a lip color on. Let's do gingerbread. Because I feel like, again, looking at her swatches, I feel like that that is the most me, I would say. So you can see how matte. You know, it's an it's a soft matte, certainly, but it's still matte. So now let's put the soft balm on top of that. Um, it's got this kind of thing. I hate these. Um, I don't put them on my lips. I because it just it just smushes product around. So I squidge it up uh, and take some on my finger. There it is. They are calling this a lip balm in a tube. It's a lip gloss. <laughs> like, do you see how glossy that is? It's a lip gloss. I feel like a balm, um, I don't, I don't, yeah, this is a lip gloss. It's a pretty lip gloss. I don't mind it. It's a little bit, it reminds me of being a kid. Like it's a slightly thinner formula, but it's not an oil. Um, like it sticks a little bit. I don't know, it's not too bad. Um, I just kind of am so-so about the, the soft balm because it's not a balm, it's a gloss. Also, I was kind of hoping it would be a little more multi-purpose. I do not put this product on my face. Like, you know, if I wanted to do a, to do a highlight here, like it's not multi-purpose as, as I was wanting. So if I'm given the choice between this and the 1999 beauty gloss i am picking the 1999 beauty gloss because it sets down a little bit better um it doesn't migrate as much like even as i'm talking i can feel this kind of going like into my mouth almost that sounds terrible and it's it's not as bad as it sounds but the 1999 beauty doesn't do that so i'll probably use this up uh just as a you know like gloss that's it. Um, I probably won't repurchase this ever because it's just kind of so-so. Yeah. Final thoughts on Jason Wu Beauty is I like some of it. Uh, I really felt like this branding was very much my makeup style, so I was excited to try it and I'm a little disappointed. Um, I'm glad I own these things. Standout products are the Hot Fluff, you know, uh, I really should look up their name. Um, the, the the cream stick bullet things, you know, but I think you just need to pick one shade. So pick one shade that speaks to you uh, and use it how you like. I really like the glitter eyeshadow. I The eyebrow, like I think my brows look amazing right now. Um, and the freckle product. I love the freckle product. So those are my standouts. Everything else is kind of so-so. I have, and this isn't everything from the brand. They totally have stuff I didn't try. They have more shades in those cream stick products, um, but not a, again, not a ton of variants. I feel like that's why I picked up the shade Jelly Roll because I felt like this was the most unique and different in the lineup. 
uh, and I'm glad I own this. This is definitely my favorite. I think if I was to have two on my vanity, it would be this one and then, I don't know, pick one of the other three at random. They look kind of the same. I hope you found this, all right. I hope you found this helpful and you enjoyed. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you around. If you'd like to see more, I'm over on Instagram at Simply Pretty with Emmy. I make a little more fashion content over there than I do here. So if that intrigues you, check it out. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.